All right, YouTubers, what the fuck is up? My name is Hunt Nudes, and I'm coming back at you with some more gameplay footage. Uh, this is some uh, mediocre gameplay at best on Modern Warfare 3 on Xbox. Sit back and enjoy. That's it. Uh, I want to talk to you guys about something that's kind of been tickling my fancy for the past couple days. And my fancy doesn't like to be tickled. At least on this topic, it does not. Uh, and the topic at hand, as you guys can read in the description or the title, whatever, uh, is money whores and people calling people out being money whores and shit like that. Um, as everybody knows, I get paid to do this. Now, it is pennies on the dollars. And I mean literally pennies on the dollars. I've been doing... I've been partnered for about five, six months, and I haven't even cracked a hundred dollars yet. And I, I average between I don't know four to five hundred, three to five hundred views per day on my um, claimed videos. Not necessarily on each video, but you know, people watching old videos and past and present, and all that fun shit. Uh, just all the all the combined views. I this is what I average, on, at least what Social Blade tells me. So. Um, my point is, it, it, I'm, I'm going to get a little, little all over the place with this here, and I'm going to try to get my thoughts together, but uh, there, there's two different, there's two groups of people that I see that throw out the money whore word a little bit more than anybody else that I've noticed, and the first person that, I, that drives me crazy more than anybody are um, larger commentators, bigger YouTube channels, that'll talk about another bigger YouTube channel, either misleading title or talking about something in their channel that pretty much has nothing to do with gaming, what their channel is known for. And for me, I find that to be absurd. Um, it, for me, it's a little bit contradicting in a sense because it's what you do too as well. It's, you know, it's like calling the, the, the pot calling the kettle black. It's like you get paid to put up videos on YouTube, but you get mad at somebody else that puts up something. You know, I understand there's a little shadiness to it. I'm not naive to the fact that, that you know, shadiness shit does happen out there, uh, will, will happen. But for me, I don't give two rats ass about it, man. Now I know under, I understand not everybody's gonna have the same approach that I have, but if if people did, this YouTube community, whatever the hell you want to call it, would be much better. I promise you. Don't, if here's my here's my quote for today for anybody. If that's all you had to do was worry about me, then you wouldn't have a worry in the fucking world. Pretty much, don't watch me watch TV. Don't worry about what the fuck I do on my channel maintain and worry about what you do on your channel maybe you might get a little success out of it I don't know now for these larger people out there they already have the success and for me when they start talking about what other larger commentators doing that's just pure jealousy man it, it, it call it what you want to call it. I call it spade a spade you can say no it's not it's not that bulls fucking shit at the end of the day it's jealousy because whatever he's doing or she's doing is getting them somewhat a little bit more exposure than they typically would get and it's earning them or generating them more revenue than they typically would gain. And for me, I'm fine with it, man. I grew up in the game where I used to, I went to the penitentiary for selling dope, man. And I broke the biggest rule of all rules. When I used to sell dope to crackheads, I would sell them dubs. That was unheard of at the time. And for all you uh, little white boys out there that don't know what a dub, you know I'm a cracker too, don't get me wrong. But what a dub is, is when you sell somebody double their money. You give me $100, I give you $200 in dope. And that was unheard of to sell to a crackhead because that's what you sold to the dope dealers. The dope, that's how they made their money. But I was like, you know what? I'm going to, th I'm thinking outside the box, I'm going to sew the game up and basically take all the clientele. And for me, when it comes to hustling and making money, there's no fucking rules, man. It's a dog eat dog world. And if you haven't figured it out by now, you're going to have a long and fucking stressful life. I promise you this. Um, and that's pretty much it, man, when it comes to these large commentators, man. Just, you know what? Worry about your own channel. Doing, keep doing what you're doing because obviously it's working and keep it moving. Now, for the younger audience out there, for the, the age frame of 12 to 17, which I noticed when I see com in the comment section below all the time, like, oh, you're just a money whore. It's like, if you had any idea what the majority of these YouTubers have invested in their channel, I promise you, you would recant on what you say because I have at least, at least two the three thousand dollars invested into my hobby which is called a youtube channel and i did you know what i know I, it's my channel it's what i want to do so if i'm partnered if i want to make money because right now um yeah they have you know benefits where you can make extra money if you talk about certain things M one day you might pop on there and you might see some random shit out of nowhere and there's a reason for it because i'm making extra cash for it i haven't done it yet but i'm not opposed to doing it i just don't feel like doing it because i'm a lazy fuck sometimes when it comes to my channel so it's like, you know what, just sit back and relax and think about it before you, when you're on the outside looking in, you know, you really have no clue what it's like on this side when it comes to commentating 
buying this, getting this program here, making sure you have different games to make your channel somewhat, uh, exclu not exclusive, but entertaining, just not one certain gameplay or game style. So it's just like, you know what, don't worry about what other people do, just worry about what the hell you got going on, and I promise you will prosper in this beautiful life that we have here, man. I don't know, write in the comment section below, tell me guys, tell me what you guys think, am I, you know, taking it the wrong way or whatever, it's just how I feel. I think it's fucking crazy that these people bitch and moan about money whoring and shit like that. You don't get mad when your mom gets a promotion for working her ass, do you? Working her ass off. This is the same fucking thing. These guys are working their ass off. They're getting an opportunity to make more money, and they're doing it. Anyways, guys, if you enjoyed this video, you know what to do. Beat your balls to that thumbs up button. But your boy, Hunt Noobs, I'm out this bitch. This is Get Wrecked, son. Boo! Money whoring for the win, pussy motherfuckers.